but he is seeing his first action as an NFL player the last couple of weeks, and I think he's getting better by the week. I think he's watching some of Jason Kelsey's old tape because he really looks a lot like Kelsey getting out on the edge and helping those running backs to get down the field. Now, the one thing Chip wants or requires from his offensive line that he wants him to be athletic and have the ability to get out there on the perimeter. You watch these two guys pull here. I mean, they look like fullbacks, not linemen. Well, he is very athletic. Watch this little subtlety. Uh, right before the ball snapped, Shaden McCoy shifts from the right side, gets over to the left side. Defense expecting this play to go to the left. It goes right on the snap, and it gives, I think, this offensive line just a bit of an edge to get out on the edge. Yeah, no doubt about it. Great job blocking downfield. Shady gets a 28-yard gain there. Biggest run of the year for Shady McCoy. You watch him here on Dan Sproul's touchdown. And again, getting out to the perimeter. I mean, you got to run behind this big guy, Jason Peter. He's one of the best in the business at being on the perimeter and blocking. But David Moak is, is starting to show some signs of improvement. Well, and I think the running backs are now getting more comfortable with getting behind him, watching him get out on the edge because he's starting to really be effective as a perimeter blocker. What once was a concern when Jason Kelsey went out, I'm not saying he's replacing Jason Kelsey, but I think David Moak deserves a lot of credit for improving his play week in and week out. For a young center to step in and do the things they're doing, he's a big reason why the running game is starting to step up as well.